Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm glad to have you back here after two weeks of vacation. I'm back to up-to-date news daily. So let's start today with news regarding the charging curve of the new battery packs coming from Austin. We also look into German news and Shanghai updates. So glad to have you here. If you're new, do consider subscribing and support my channel. And we start with the update regarding the 4680 cells. First of all, it comes to the production. We all know that Tesla still is in the work of ramping up the production. I'm currently sitting at around about a million per month, maybe already higher right now. What is important to understand is that Tesla can basically do um, plus or minus 1,600 cars with this monthly um, cell amount. So there's way more um, battery cells needed um, to produce a big number of cars. Nevertheless, we do know that Tesla can ramp up um, pretty quickly. Um, I hope um, this will happen for the 4680 cells as well. Um, there is no indication yet if cars will get 2170 cells as well out of uh, Texas. There were a few people like Troy Tesla -like saying that, but we have to wait for official confirmation. Looking into the charging curve, I find it interesting that there's a bit comparable to the 2170 cells um, because we do know that when they started, um, the charging power was not as big, but then updates came. So um, based on um, the first experiences, we can see that from 9% to 90%, so pretty much 80% of charging, it takes 40 minutes. Um, then you have the other differences up to 40%, 50 and 80%. This might look um, actually pretty good, but the only difference is that currently um, it's topping out at a 227 kilowatt. Um, it's not like the 2170 cells that can go up to 250. But I believe that Tesla is really cautious right now and they are trying to slowly adapt to this new battery pack. And by time we will see more updates coming and Tesla might allow then um, a big, bigger charging power. Then we are looking into Giga Shanghai and Giga Berlin. Yes, many people are stating, yes, Giga Berlin is not as fast as Shanghai. Well, we are not China in Germany. And the second point is that you should consider that the third month, um, the increase is not as big as in Shanghai because we had the month where we were very constrained on battery packs. I told you before they had to even fly in battery packs from China regarding the lockdown in Shanghai. So I think um, it is slower than expected but right now we see a lot of people receiving Model Y performance in Norway. So there's a big wave of cars and to be honest with you um, as I'm working um, for Tessie Supply I can tell you there's a lot of people with Model Y performance receiving their cars right now and the impact is still small but it's getting bigger and bigger and I think we slowly see where this entire road could go with the Model Y performance so it's very exciting guys I'm telling you 1000 cars per week that was the last number we got I think it's going to go much quicker right now as the situation in Shanghai is easing and we can have no constraint anymore. Then looking at those cars here, they are not for Europe. I was actually expecting that. They are gonna be shipped to a different Chinese city. For all European customers, we will receive the first ships again um, in run about three weeks. I do expect the first ships to go from China to Europe again. Then we have seen Australia um, being able to order the Model Y. So Tesla has to ramp up further the production in Shanghai um, to actually cope with the demand, which is pretty crazy over there. Um, and then we see here the numbers, the latest numbers, um, which indicate um, what uh, production we can see here. And we have a very, very high demand in China, um, which is also um, indicating people want to buy right now because they're afraid prices might increase further 
further. So it's actually not having the effect that Tesla wants it to have because by increasing prices, they want to decrease the demand to cope with the waiting times. But in China, it seems like people are really running after um, getting a Tesla um, and uh, securing a price before the hike is actually starting again. Um, so this is what Ray for Tesla is reporting from China. So there is no end to the demand despite all the price increases. Um, lots of people are still willing to pay the price. Um, from the German perspective, we have a few people that say, well, I don't think a car like this is that much money worth. Um, this is an opinion that people can have. That's okay. Um, but I think um, Tesla might lose a few potential customers right now because of the price increases. On the other hand, if demand is so high, that is what we sadly have to live for. And I guess a cheaper car, a cheaper EV for mass adoption is currently out of range just because the demand for current cars is already so high um, that we are still having a way to go for like a really cheap version. Then the Model Y long range here, um, we see the increase of prices. Um, you clearly see that actually as well. And that is interesting um, for the Model Y performance and Model Y long range in the US. It's just getting crazy. Roland Peer here um, actually did the statistic here. Um, so for the US, prices increase as like crazy. Switzerland as well had a pretty big price increase and for the performance variant it's still the same price in Germany um, but for the United States it increased by 80,000 euros so that is actually a pretty high number as well um, and for China it actually even decreased which makes a lot of sense because I said before that the numbers in China for the performance are pretty low when it comes to um, the backlog so Tesla actually decreased the price here um, which makes sense to um, get more demand in for this premium vehicle. So um, yeah, let's see um, how this is going out. And we see that the Model Y is actually now the best selling EV worldwide. Um, it will be the best selling EV this year. That is what we had um, talked about in the beginning of the year already. And of course, because we are a little constrained and we have more production lines of the Model Y currently than the Model 3, Model 3 only being produced in Fremont and in China. Um, this makes a lot of sense that the Model Y will take over this year. So thank you very much for being here today again. Um, I have as well good news. Um, we might be selling soon some products in Great Britain. Um, so I'm hopefully being able to give you some nice updates here if you like to have some products for your Tesla. But we are sending products to um, Great Britain as well. And so as well for other countries like Norway and Sweden, of course. So check out Tessy Supply. You can get on the starting page everything you need. So thank you very much. Take care.